Mistakes affiliate marketers need to avoid part two. So in the first video, I covered the first six points that I went to about mistakes that affiliate marketers need to avoid in this game to give themselves the best possible opportunity to actually make money. In this video, I am going to go into the next six mistakes. Let's get into it. So look, if you enjoy video one and you feel like video two also is something of value to you, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be pumping out a lot of very valuable information. I'm giving you a video per day for the rest of 2018. I wanna make sure I give you so much information that you're gonna absolutely love this channel. You're gonna subscribe, you're gonna comment, you're gonna win prizes, you know, you're gonna start following everything that I do and you're gonna start getting results, all right? So part two, mistakes to avoid as affiliate marketers. Let's get into this. Mistake number one in this particular video is not knowing how to run traffic. So traffic is a big part of the game. I wouldn't say it's the most important. I would say conversions are, um, but understanding and knowing how to run traffic is a key part of the game. Knowing how to run traffic allows you to be able to build your business. And what do I mean by traffic? I'm talking about people that click on your links. It doesn't matter where they are. <clears throat> to go and check out your offer, okay? Or whatever your offer might be, it might be a landing page, as I, as I spoke about in video one. It would be best to send them to a landing page instead of directly to a product. Or number two, sending them to sign up to something like an email list, right, before you actually sell them. So here's another bonus mistake. Don't try and sell a product directly from whatever it is you're doing. Gather their email address before you actually send them there, okay? You're gonna be able to market to that person again and again and again. So master your traffic source, whatever the case may be for you. This is, this is where a little bit of market research comes in handy. For example, there are a lot more women hanging out at Pinterest than there are men. So if you've got a product that attains specifically or is very, very attractive to women, then Pinterest might be something you really wanna focus on. If for example, you prefer to do like business to business, business, then you might actually wanna look into LinkedIn and learn how to drive traffic from that source, okay? Just to give you an insight, that's what you really need to do. You need to study your customers, you need to study your platform, and then you need to dive into it and really make that happen. Mistake number three is to target the right people. I see so many people going with the shotgun approach. What the hell is the shotgun approach? So this is the jack of all trades, the master of absolutely nothing, okay? These are the people that focus more on spreading themselves out on all kinds of platforms instead of mastering one or two. I was one of these people and I made the mistake for years. I don't want you to make the same mistake as well, okay? So even if you looked at where I was in 2017 in affiliate marketing, uh, one of the mistakes that I constantly made was trying to spread myself thin. I got into Facebook, I was doing live, I was doing value posts, I was commenting in Facebook groups, then I got into Instagram and I was building um, virality there, and then I was touching on it, LinkedIn a little bit, I was doing a little bit of YouTube here and there, that's why I wasn't having the gigantic breakthroughs that I was really aiming for. In 2018, I'm 100% about YouTube. I'm 100% about building my audience here on YouTube, which is why I'm going to be releasing a video every single day for everybody who subscribes and comments will also be put into the prize pools that I run at the end of every single month and eventually will put up to every single week, okay? So you make sure you subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Make sure that you avoid that mistake. You must avoid Spreading yourself too thin across multiple platforms. Pick one, master the shit out of it, and then move on to the next one. Mistake number four is buying a cheap training. And again, I, I already touched on this on video number one, right? Shiny object syndrome, making the mistake of opening, you know, 10 emails a day and buying two or three cheap products, ranging anywhere from seven to $97, you know? I made this mistake so many times that I can't tell you, I've probably spent a few thousand dollars that I shouldn't have spent. I could have invested that in traffic instead or in a coach at the particular time or maybe even a mentor, the right system, right? Instead of wasting that money on stupid little products. And I don't, I don't mean to hate here, but a lot of the uh, crap that I see out there, things like Udemy, for example, they're good entry level courses, but they're not high quality. There's a reason why they mark them at, you know, $197 or $200, and then they sell the product constantly at $15. That's because the value is not really there. It's not what they teach. It's a good outline and it's a good curriculum to follow in terms of entry level into what you're doing, right? I see the same thing on Warrior Forum. I see people were offering, you know, special Warrior Forum plus um, deals of $5 per course. But frankly, those courses are complete crap. You can learn anything that they have on there on Instagram, on YouTube, sorry. So if you really want to, you know, test this out, for example, you could go to a Udemy. You could, uh, you could check out their... Um, their actual course curriculum, and then just copy paste it into YouTube and see what information you find. Study the top 10 videos, I can pretty much guarantee you're gonna find an answer to your question. 
Bingo, you just saved money, right? Although I do understand the value in courses and if that's what you choose to do as well, that's fine, okay? I'm not here as a hater. I'm just telling you the truth and the facts based on what I've experienced. Mistake number five is not working in a passion or an interest, but rather working based on money. And I see this all the time. I've seen people get into cryptocurrency. I've seen people get into affiliate marketing. I've seen people get into internet marketing. I've seen people do into social media marketing, right? But, and what they're doing is they're chasing money. They see money as opposed to following a passion or an interest. Why would you want to do a passion or an interest when you're starting? Now, I don't necessarily believe 100% that it has to be a passion, okay? I personally, I am passionate about online marketing. I am passionate about being, being an entrepreneur. So running this channel, doing these videos, giving value, writing blog posts, all based around home-based business is something that I don't mind doing. I enjoy doing it, okay? So it's more than I'm more than happy to actually put the value out there because it's something that I'm pas passionate about, something that I'm interested in. You don't have to be uh, passionate about it, but you do need to be interested in something that is monetizable. Because at the end of the day, if you're following affiliate marketing, it's because you're trying to figure out how to make money online. If the niche or market that you're getting involved in isn't monetizable, you are 100% wasting your time and effort because I did this, right? And I'll be completely honest here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the story like I've never done it before. I got into a niche once upon a time ago, <clears throat> probably four or five years ago is when I stopped. And I spent five years in that niche and I mastered the shit out of it. No one in that niche was better than me at it. That's why I was able to make approximately 40 to $50,000 in that niche. But that was in five years of really, really hard work. It wasn't until I got to that point that I realized, you know what, this is not very monetizable. And I gained a lot of skills that I've now applied into the entrepreneurial world, into the online marketing world. So I don't mind, right? So that was kind of like a good tester. It was a good, very good experience to learn from. I made some money, but it wasn't as monetizable as I thought it was because it was an absolute passion and an interest. And so I dove into it head first without realizing that, hey, this is not as monetizable as I thought it was. I don't want you to make that same mistake. Remember, I lost five years and thousands of dollars, I mean thousands of hours diving into this. Thank goodness I didn't lose tens of thousands of dollars as well. This is the final mistake that you must avoid as an affiliate marketer in this video. And we will be bringing on video number three tomorrow with the five final ones to wrap the whole series up. So what is that mistake? Call to actions, CTA. I see people making way too many call to actions in a video, in a blog post, on social media, where they're telling people to do a million things. What you really wanna do is get people to do one or two actions, that's it, no more, done, okay? And then focus on the next particular step. I see, you, so really what you wanna do, for example, like with every single video that I put out, you'll always see where I'm like, make sure you subscribe, and if you get a chance, comment, okay? Or like, or share. But I, I usually don't give one or two or more call to actions because I understand that if you go on to three or four or five call to actions, people are just gonna clock out and they go, nah, too hard. They're gonna put it in the too hard mental basket and you're done, you're over, you already lost them, okay? So one or two actions, subscribe, comment, like, just two things, all right, at the absolute maximum. If you really can, dial it down to one and, and just focus 100% on that. So for you, my call to action for you now that I've finished up this video is to make sure you subscribe and if you want to be part of our prize pool, go ahead and comment and I'll throw you in that prize pool that we release at the end of the month, okay? So make sure you subscribe. I'll be releasing video uh, number three tomorrow and the, the series will be a wrap and then we'll get on to some more new and exciting content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, I'll see you then.